you are weighed bankrupt. Wow, he's an awesome God. You may be seated and make sure you greet the person close to you. Forty-two of the book of Genesis, verses one, two, and three. We are going to read this together, loud and clear. One, two, go. Thank you. you. May be seated. Let me also read it for you, verse 1. Now, when Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt, Jacob said unto his sons, Why do you look one upon another? And he said, Behold, I have heard that there is corn in Egypt. Get you down thither and buy for us from thence that we may live and not die. And Joseph's ten brethren went down to buy corn in Egypt. I'm very much interested in uh, what Jacob said. In case they were not ready to go to Egypt. He said, go and buy corn so that we may live and not die. I'm looking at Jacob and how old he was in chapter 42. Very old. You can see by the children that he now has he has got more than 12 sons not counting daughters and grandsons and granddaughters so he's quite old he is in the promised land and there was famine in the land and the famine was everywhere including Egypt So what happened in Egypt, the seven years of famine, of drought, it happened in every other part of the world. But the difference between Egypt and any other country was not that there was no famine in Egypt. But there was a dreamer who is Pharaoh. And there was an interpreter of dreams. Because of these two people in Egypt, 
there was no famine in Egypt. Okay. A dreamer and an interpreter of dreams. These two people, because of their presence in Egypt, there was corn in the time of famine. There was corn in Egypt because in Egypt there was a dream and an interpreter. Now, in the middle of that famine, which was so intense, we are seeing now Jacob inviting his sons, ten sons. Benjamin was not part of them. He wasn't sent. They left him home because of what had happened to Joseph. So the father was not interested. He didn't want them to go with Benjamin. So he called all of them, ten sons, and he said to them, I see that there is corn in Egypt. And why do you look upon each other? Get out of here, go and buy corn so that we may live and not die. Jacob saw that there was corn in Egypt. And he called his ten sons and he told them that I can see, I see that there is corn in Egypt. And he accused them for not seeing that because they were not focusing on what he was focusing on. They were focusing on each other. I see there is corn in Egypt, but you are looking at each other. I've realized that when it comes to the things of the spirit, sons are the last people to see. What the father was looking at is different from what the sons were looking at. The father was focusing on life. His vision was on corn. But the sons were seeing but busy looking at each other. And he called them, he said, there is something wrong with your focus, something wrong with your sight. At this particular moment, it's not about comparing yourself to the person sitting next to you. You should focus on productivity, focus on corn, focus on something more important than yourselves. I see, because he's quite old, but these ten boys, the ones that had access to internet they didn't know that there was corn in Egypt how can you have Jacob as old as he was him being the first person to get to know where corn was and he calls the ten of you the ten of you and he says, this is what I'm seeing. You tell me what you're seeing. And they're saying, we are seeing each other. And he said, but I'm seeing corn in Egypt. We are in a famine. This is not the time, ladies and gentlemen, to be looking at each other. Let us open our eyes and see beyond our borders. We might not have it here in this country, but ask Jacob, he tells you, when I open my eyes, what I see is beyond what you see. I see corn in Egypt. I see corn in Egypt. And he said, I want you to go there. Buy corn for us so that we may live and not die. It doesn't matter how anointed Jacob was. He is very much aware that without corn, I can perish. The anointing is present. The power is present. 
The Holy Spirit is present, but without physical provision, we are going to die. So he's ready to anoint his sons and daughters on a Tuesday service. And he says, I hear there is corn, but what you need tonight is an anointing that leads you to Egypt so that you can go by so we may live and not die. There comes a time when a father who sees beyond calls his interested sons and he tells them what he sees in as much as they don't see it because they are busy looking at themselves looking at what you don't have focusing on the disease that is in your body focusing on the little money that is left in your bank account but the father is saying I'm seeing beyond you there is corn in Egypt. There is money in Dubai. There is finances in China. Now, I'm here tonight. I'm not going to waste your time. I have come to place you on assignment. I'm going to release you tonight into Egypt. And you are going to collect everything possible that you can collect. So that we may not die in Zimbabwe. We want to live. So don't worry if you can't see what I'm seeing. It's because you are a son. I don't blame you sons. They simply look at each other and they concentrate on their immediate environment. But fathers, because they are highly exalted by God, they see beyond Canaan. They have their focus, their sight, their vision into the camp of the enemy. There is corn in Egypt, but not every corn in Egypt is for the Egyptians. Not every product in China is for the Chinese. As old as he was, he wasn't on WhatsApp, but he could see there was God. This is beyond technology now. You see, Jacob, 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 his global positioning system was so accurate. He knew that in as much as we are in a crisis here, but beyond our borders, there is something that if I am to lay my hands on you tonight, and release an anointing up. You see, there was a day when Jesus himself, he sent them two by two. And they came back with a report. They said, we have seen that demons were subject to us. They were taking orders from us. And Jesus said to them, that's what you saw. And sons, let me tell you what I saw. I saw him, Lucifer, fall from heaven like lightning. What I saw is beyond submission. You see, what Jesus saw and what the two and the 70 saw were totally two different things. Now, because the reason why Lucifer fell like lightning is not because they were too much anointed. This is because they were sent by an authority. When I sent you to Egypt, tonight when you are released from here into any foreign land you enter, you shall have favor. You shall have access. You know, there is something about being sent. He said, I'm going to release you into Egypt and you are going to buy corn from there so that we don't have to die. It is no time for us to die. You see, when, when Jacob released them, he did not go with them. He did not go with them. 
he did not go with them. They left their father and they went into Egypt. Because the father said, I would want you guys to be the first ones to experience this level of blessing that is coming. Go and explore. When you are finally blessed and you have built your houses, come and get me out of this slavery. Come and bless me as well. So he released them and he remained in the same place. Now, this is what is happening. There is an unusual anointing and blessing that I have never experienced myself. Myself. So don't ask me what you're about to give to us. Do you have it yourself? I don't. I'm Joseph. I'm Jacob. I'm left and I want to release you into something totally new. When you go there and when you find it, you will bring it back to this place. You will bring it back to this place. I know myself that God has anointed me so much. I'm like Jacob. I had an encounter. I've seen a ladder from earth to heaven. I've wrestled with angelic beings. But in as much as I'm anointed, if my sons are not blessed financially, I may die at any time. And Jacob said, why shall we sit here just looking at this anointing, looking at each other? And he said, no, 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 no. I want you to go out there. Go to Egypt. You shall have favor there. You know, you see, how the anointing of God works is amazing. Maria waka zogera nayo. Iri konyiga ya gadar. Kucharambu ka Maria ko. Pane paino kundika na Maria ko yo rambu ka. But it's how no doubt she's wana. Now, now, if the father can release ten sons in one go into a foreign land and he was left alone with empty chairs where are your members I've sent them out so that we don't have to die I'm looking for sons and daughters that have this desire of going beyond the ordinary. There are certain lines and demarcations and boundaries that you want to cross. You have always desired to go beyond. And I believe tonight there is that anointing available in this house. If I release you today, into any territory you shall become in charge in every sphere of life there is something about being sent by the father don't worry about what you see worry about what i'm seeing because what i'm seeing is greater than what you are looking at tonight listen to me listen to me listen to me now but we see beyond that. We see beyond that. We see beyond that. 
Saukaona mchungo na na nekungo na na vunza baba udaya baba murugo ne. Baba wana there is something that I'm seeing beyond our borders, but it requires men and women that are determined to go out there and bring it into this economy, and bring it into this economy, and bring it into this economy. Kana watu mana baba. Enda uno itasha watumwa na baba. Tinaro power racho so umberek. Reku batawa na bari kumi wese vano yenda. Vano tzoka na masaka ezio. Vano tzoka na masaka ezibake. Wabuda uri dry. Uno tzoka uri dry. Iwe. Pakumana maboda raku cross kwa. Chesier <laughs> As you know, Moshe Ika ever Torwa, as you shall know, when a queen away who come, who shall know when a Josepha. Baba, you must have heard. But if you are so good, now, because under India, India, Gamte, Mapan, my India, India, my Israel is in Israel. Da shika sei pana, da unzwa nei pana, watumwa na chakopo. Ia kaona manera nenda kudenga, akakuti enda. Even the sky is not the limit. You can go beyond that. There is a case that I want to break tonight. Kufambira mahara, kuchonera miri kwa makungwa mahara. Munano in the seventeen years, Agunano Zia Acapondwe re. Wakafira Remum Fura Waka Negaga Kakuna Chakawa Kokumusha. Mweo Rombe Kanamana Kombore Rua Chidiki Chawabat Panis no Buddha Ipapo. That the Kaduku Duku Kawatana Nisaranako Panis no Buddha Ipapo. Banano da ogno torera ma Egyptians. Una zira ere kuti pavaka zoya finari, vaka garam Egypta, vaku buda ba birnoti, vaka iti sa ma Egyptians ziva rombo. Gorera wasonzi na mari chibuda i, ba birnoti and the Egyptians were highly impoverished. Vaka tora ku koko taku no korajes. Jemiji Peter. Ine ndino shotwa. Ndino rwara kwa una miedeni. Aine jamusi na imimi. Ndineji gumbu. Chigumbu. Mwana kana. Atu mwana baba. Asisine kuti ane grade six. Asisine kuti grade seven. Kutuma ikoko becomes his qualification. Kusa gona churungu. Aizi kote rego yekuti usha yemari. Dama China hachi gona man. Nata wa gona churungu man. Ilungori language ya ina ne basa reza zile ne marizo zish. Shauno de manera ne inyansha pa msorope upenywa. Dere utzida inyansha izo zish. Ba bandi pe inyansha izo zish. Jacob bandi pe inyansha izo zish. Shama kawona mumwe ya. Gazuye pamusha, 
Jego bagata e waka ngara mbe chimuda koni yokurota. Rota masaga chibaga ari kupi. Zvandaka rota inda munotora zviye pana. Ndakati rota mota kana ndakadzona dzimba inda munotora dzivakwe pana. Ani ndi zvosere. Zvirege kuramba zviri zviratidzo zvababa vana ndakuda vana vanoti baba kana mapedza kurota. Tiso dzaiti ende tonotora zvamakarota. Nekuti zviroto izvi zvinotengeswa kune kwaziri. Sisi oi. Amurote mota isiko. Amurote mchato usipo. Amurote mwana asipo. Zaroto waziri iko. Ndati zaroto waziri iko. Iro rana asira ngodona. Iro rana asiro rini. Iro rini. Ayo waka ibe sanua. Ibe sanua. Ati mire kuti zvinake mi economy nda zvinona kira pana pa kuti economy inake. Ndotenda kuti waku zvipfuma manje kuti zvinona kira pana pa. Waku zvitenda kuti zvinona kira pana pa. Pana pa tikada kuti zvishanduke zvinoshanduka pano. Isuja tino wengere kwa kuona. Right? But this time cha wachandi wengere chingwe kukutuma kuno tora chanda wona. Huh? 